Speaking with Vision, final presentation by Esther A. Moraine. This presentation will be based on an interview of the president of the company I currently work for, Western Filament. His name is Rex Nelson. Who is Rex Nelson? He is the president of the company I work for, Western Filament Incorporated. We make braided textiles, specifically string used in tough line fish line and lacing tape that has made it into the aerospace industry as well as the outer space. Under his leadership, Western Filament has gone through a great deal of growth and continues to grow. He leads. He is a leader of leaders. He has grown up amazing leaders within the factory, some that have worked for over 20 years underneath his leadership, and all who are exemplary leaders because of his leadership. He has a vision that continues to grow the company. He continues to push us to go to new levels. He does not allow us to become stagnant. What is the perception within the company based on his employees and their perception of him? He's the type of man who comes to work early, stays late, and shows a great work ethic. He is someone we can all talk to. He makes it a point to walk around the factory and get to know his employees on a personal level so that they do not believe that he's only there worried about how they do their job, but he's concerned about them in, as, on an individual basis. He has yearly grilled at a barbecue in the heat for the entire company of over 80 employees just to show his appreciation. He leads through servant leadership and hard work and sacrifice. He is always doing whatever he can to keep our incentives and our benefits so that we'll continue to have a good place to work. And his vision has brought training to the leadership so that we can start implementing things like Lean and S5 throughout the factory, which is also benefiting and helping us to grow. When asked about faith and how it played into his leadership, I was surprised to find that it was the most important part of every aspect of his life, especially being a leader. Faith, he's, his faith is por important in every decision he makes. He prays before he makes the big decisions concerning the company, and he makes sure that he is following God's will and God's plan for the company. His, he keeps his priorities straight. He, said, he encouraged me by explaining the importance of first keeping God and then his family and last his work so that his life will keep, be kept in balance no matter what he's doing. And he attributes his success to the foundation he has in his beliefs. He feels like he's being used by God to serve others and to help them grow. When asked about what motivates people, he explained that he does not believe people are motivated by money, as many people believe. He definitely lines up with the Hawthorne studies in that people are more motivated by recognition of what they are worth. They are not motivated by mere financial incentives, although he does work to make sure that they get those incentives, but by little little celebrations like we read in our book as well that we do things like we we have all of the management team come together when it uh, when the yearly anniversary comes along every single employee at our company knows when their start date is because when their first anniversary comes along we all get together all the leads supervisors managers including the president all of the sales staff the front office and we clap for them and we celebrate them and we give them a reward for having been there so long and they, that continues every single year and every single employee I think it encourages them to stay with the company and makes them feel more appreciated he continues to fight for things like incentives and helping them feel like they're part they're part owners in the company and and what they're doing is benefiting their own financial situation as well as the company's and he said that people are motivated by feeling like they have a say in their jobs and that they're not just there to do a job, but that they can help benefit the company themselves. And with the implementation of 5S and Lean, each and every person in the company has had the opportunity to make a, 
to make decisions to benefit themselves and the place that they work every single day. And they're writing it down and keeping a journal and being able to celebrate those little successes each and every day as we make the company grow. Rex, when we talk about leadership within the company and what makes a good leader and how our leaders grown Rex said that he had a lot of he, he has a lot of mentors in his life very very few of them happen to be people he worked for they're mostly people that he has gotten to know outside of work who have similar positions as he does and all have that same core ethic and belief in Christ that propel them to do the work that they do and they help him make decisions he comes to them for prayer to be able to make the right choices he's he learned a lot of lessons from two of his previous the previous owners of the company the original owner of the company who kept the company going for around 50 years was an amazing leader and um, showed rex what it meant to really work hard and to do things the right way whereas the second leader the second owner of our company was the complete opposite. He led the company through fear. He had pe people paid off to, to spy on other people. He he made Rex's job more difficult. Rex felt like he had to be a buffer to keep the other people from feeling the wrath of the owner and to try to keep the morale up. But today, he is part owner with new owners of the company who are themselves Christians, who are part of his mentor team, the people he looks to for encouragement and strength to be able to be a good leader. He thinks that good leadership is much like that servant model that we read about, a person who cares about the people who works for, who, who work for him, and, and who care, he cares about growing them and helping them. And it's not all about him. He's a very humble person who cares about those he works with. And those mentors have those same ideals as his. When asked about whether or not leading was more rewarding or more difficult, it was very interesting to me that he admits that it's not easy to lead, especially managing people. He said it's the most challenging part of his career. And honestly, some days he gets really bogged down and he wonders if this is where he should be. But he knows that if he were to leave the current position he's in, he would go somewhere else and be a leader because that's just what he's meant to be. He, he agreed that there are many rewards to leading Western Filament, and every day is a challenge, but he has an awesome team that he works with that helps him to do what he feels like he's called to do in life. His career highs and lows include losing... The lowest point of his career was when the owner of the company, the original owner, passed away, and then was, the company was taken over by a new new owner, under which he didn't know what was going to happen. I think the unknown is one of the most difficult parts of any job, but he stood his ground. He kept working there. And although he had one of the worst bosses he's ever had, he was able to overcome it. And the minute that this plant president stepped down, he offered he offered himself to take over. He, he took the incentive, the initiative, and went to the ownership and said, can I be the, the president? I think I can do this job. And he has done a great job ever since. He said that the other point in his career that was very amazing was when he the company broke $10 million. And that was also under his leadership. And he felt like he was finally, finally accomplishing the goals that he had set out to accomplish. And this year was the other greatest accomplishment in which he and his partners and his friends were able to purchase the company. And now they know they're going to be able to do so many, so much more with this type of leadership and this type of ownership in the company. How did he get to where he is today? He said that the most important aspect was to be a self-starter, -start, a person who knows that he can do what he can do, who will propel himself forward, who is not afraid to step up and do the work. And he, his good work ethic was also a great key in that. He worked in retail for a very long time. He's been in sales. He was a purchasing manager, but it was his willingness and courage to step forward and do what needed to be done that got him to where he is today. He always had that can do and what can I do more for this company attitude.
When asked whether leaders are born and made or made, he said that there's both. He has known men like our previous plant manager who was just born to be a leader. He just had every quality that you could think of to be a leader. And others that grew into being a leader that had characteristics that had to be cultivated. And the trait theory lists that the attributes that leaders have, but they may or may not be born with those lead those qualities. Attributes of a good list leader, Rex listed that they need to be good communicators, both good listeners and good at being able to bring about understanding when they're trying to speak to those who follow them. They need to be able to build trust, and that means they trust the people they work for and the people they work for trust them. They need to have respect for the people they work for and for their time and for their position, meaning even though they may have done the job that this person is doing before, they're not doing it today. They need to respect the way they do it because it actually might be better than the way they're doing it. Open door policy, being available, being approachable. A, a, a manager or a leader who is not willing to communicate to those they work that work for them is not going to propel them to greatness. And it was not he he's his point was that it's not leading through power, but through building relationships. A good employee is a, an employee with a good work ethic that's reliable, that has that same can do attitude that he had, that's not a person that they have to constantly talk to or maintain, and is a person that will ask that question every day. What can I do? to do more for my company? How can I better the place I work? How can I make this job better? And they have to be willing to change and to, to be flexible. And that last question, how can I make my boss life, boss's life easier? These are the things that make a good employee. And what, what about change? We're going through a lot of change in the company right now. We're transitioning with a new plant manager. We're about to have a new quality manager. There are a lot of changes. How is it, how, what is the best way to implement change within a company? He said, keeping everybody up to date and knowing what's happening as they occur. When there are changes that's going to happen, let people know. Don't surprise them. And share the vision that you have, the reason for the change that you're going to make. Understanding the change will come, changes will come. Make sure that everybody knows that this job is not going to stay the same because if it does, we're going under. We have to be willing to change in order to grow. A good leader anticipates and expects change as a normal part of growth in the company. A good leader is ready and willing to change and to move and to be formed and to just flow with the changes. And the, the last part, when changes are made and a leader makes a change, they have to be ready for mistakes and they have to be willing to ex accept when things don't go right because sometimes it's not always the best change. And then you learn from it and you move on. The, Rex is an amazing role model. I hope that one day I become a leader like him. He is a man who cares about his people, he, the people he leads, and no matter how much he succeeds, he's always remained humble. He's always remained a person that sees himself as no greater than anyone else. He has an amazing vision for our company that is going to make us a great company, and I very much look forward to the, the next five years that I work here. Thank you.